Hey guys, welcome to Betty's Cooking Channel. So today I have a recipe that is a pretty old recipe. It's a southern recipe. Uh, it's low carb, keto, and carnivore. So if you on the carnivore diet, uh, this recipe is for you. Let me get started. Welcome to Betty's Cooking Channel. Hey guys, welcome to Betty's Cooking Channel. Today I'm going to be preparing to use some hot chicken salad casserole. It's keto and low carb, so let me get started. These are some of the ingredients I will be using today. Um, this chicken is already roasted. I picked it up um, from Walmart. So I'm going to shred it, remove the skin off of it. I'm going to be using some mayo, butter, um, mild cheddar cheese, some ranch, onions, and, and um, celery. Uh, thyme and thyme. Rosemary and thyme. Rosemary, thyme, heavy whipping cream, bacon, three uh, uh, strips of bacon. Okay, I have one eight, one. I have one ounce of uh, mild cheddar cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and chop it up. Okay, here's, here is the cheddar cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and shred this chicken. I'm gonna remove the skin. Uh, you notice I've added garlic. I'm gonna go ahead and place that. The garlic I chopped up, that's about two cloves of garlic in this recipe. I'm gonna go ahead and shred uh, some more chicken. I need four cups of chicken for this recipe. I have shredded um, two cups of chicken, so I'm gonna go ahead and Finish up the second two cups. Today I have a recipe that's a pretty old recipe. It's a southern recipe. Uh, it's low carb, keto, and carnivore. So if you on the carnivore diet, this recipe is for you. Let me get started. I have two tablespoons of butter. I covered. I covered the. Um, Saute vegetables. We have one fourth cup of um, walnut some chop. I'm going to chop up the bacon. I'm going to add it to this dish right here. Okay, chopped up the bacon. Uh, that was three pieces of bacon. Okay, and you can leave it out. It's optional, but it's so good in this recipe. I'm going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of the ranch dressing. About an eighth teaspoon of sugar is a stevia. Okay, the vegetables are ready to go in the dish. Okay, I need to mix it up, but I'm not going to mix it up until I add my four boiled eggs.
one eighth of a teaspoon of thyme, rosemary, one eighth of a teaspoon of rosemary. Okay. Now I'm gonna pour one cup of heavy cream. This one cup, one cup of mayo, any kind of mayo you'd like. This is what I'm using. But you can use any kind you like. This is a keto low carb casserole. It's very easy to make. The only problem is it takes a little while to shred the chicken, but you can buy chicken that's already shredded if you like, but I like doing my own. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze my lemon with this little tool I got here, okay? I always use a half a lemon, so whatever lemon I get from that, I add it to my um, chicken salad. Okay, let me just go ahead and add that. Go ahead and mix this up. Got two spoons in here. This is a great southern recipe that I have created for those that have to work from home, whatever. We start this in the morning and finish off in the oven in the evening. It's really delicious. You can make the same salad if you like. You can make it cold, but it's delicious hot when it's in the winter time. I'm gonna go ahead and taste this, see if there's enough salt in it. It needs just about a half a teaspoon of salt. Now, at this point, if you don't want to add any more salt, you don't have to, but this is to my taste. Okay, now I'll mix it up one more time. Perfectly seasoned to my taste. I'm just going to add some black pepper because I like black pepper. If you don't like black pepper, you don't have to add it. Okay, mix it up one more time, and then I'm going to add the cheese to the top.
So if you want something easy to make and it's keto and low carb, this is a dish you should be making. I place the casserole in a 350 degrees preheated oven, a preheated oven of 350 degrees, and I'm gonna allow it to stay in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. All right, I'll let you see what it looks like. These are some of the things that I had purchased this year to decorate my new house. A lot of the things I had for my old house, I'm not using this year, so I decided to go in a whole different direction with my new house. So after I finish decorating, I will show you later on. chicken salad casserole is keto it is delicious so let me uh, fix our plate if you like you can leave off the cheese it's up to you but the cheese is really good like when I make this cold I don't usually add the cheese but it's up to you up to you how you would like it Very filling dish. So if you like this recipe, like, comment, share, subscribe. Not so much in that order, but thanks so much for watching. Betty's cooking channel. Merry Christmas, everyone.